help <laughs> it's summer holiday my children on holiday for three months and i don't know what to do help me help me help me fam yeah 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 Alright, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Sweetie here, sweetie baby, sweetie mama, sweetie special, sweetie sprinkle, sweetie spicy, sweetie light. So long I've said all my names. I've gotten sweetie. Uh, there's a new one. I've forgotten. I remember all of them. I add that chat, but it's been long. I said all of that. But yeah, hi guys, what's up? I have been so overwhelmed. In fact, I think I look a bit crazy, but still beautiful. Anyway, I've been so overwhelmed. The kids have been ill since my birthday. I think the last thing I posted was my birthday a makeup video yes i was going to do birthday vlog and all of that but the birthday didn't really happen because the girls felt ill especially Jean. she was running high fever she was vomiting she lost all her appetite in fact she had they had their prize giving um award graduation ceremony um yesterday and the outfit that we made for her you guys i know i talked about outfits in one of my vlogs actually that we made some outfits and everything by the time she wore it she was swimming inside it i didn't even realize how much weight she had lost Omo, i was overwhelmed if you're a mother okay i know you understand what i'm saying where your kids fall ill and you don't want to you don't it's like you don't want to do it yourself i didn't know what to do myself guys i don't even know how to explain it to you i was so overwhelmed like you try all your best they gave medication the medication will work today it will not work she'll be fine she was even a little bit but then she'll throw up and man then jasmine now started so when you think one child okay you're dealing with one child it's okay jasmine started her own running temperature as well at the end of the day she was tonsillitis plus malaria and tonsillitis in kids is frustrating because it's so inflamed their tonsils are so inflamed they can't even eat so even when they are hungry everything is painful to eat oh you guys they're still coughing but they're much better anyway so yeah summer holiday is here the kids still did well in school jasmine got three hours Jane got one award i was very proud of them i am very proud of them but now we are here and i'm just thinking they're on holiday but i am not on holiday so how are we going to keep them engaged that is exciting that doesn't stress me out and requires minimal to no supervision because i'm still going to be working do you get what i mean so i don't have the time like i wish i was stay at home mom that i could be going for all the activities and everything but i'm not so i tend to ask my kids i'm like okay jasmine what do you want to do here's the first thing she said she said she wants to learn skating i said you want to learn skating you want to roller skate she said yes there are some um, kids that she sees i'm supposed to get ready for work so let me be doing that <laughs> there are some kids that she sees um they roller skate over the weekend i think with their instructor and she has said she wants to learn so she has and she has said she wants to learn so i think that's what we're going to do we're going to ask if she's at the appropriate age to start that i don't know if she is and the thing about having kids close in age is that when you start one with something you have to do it with the other person <laughs> it's funny even though lily jade is small for a lot of things she still wants to do everything with her sister it's actually funny and a bit annoying <laughs> Jasmine wants to learn skating and um, she's also still in piano school, that's music school. She's learning the keyboard and the drums. And I think I might also add, um, what's it called? We might also add, what's that word? I want something sports like, okay? The skating, I guess, but I want something like athletic a bit that she can also be trying. So I'll look into that and then the stem cafe i know they have a summer program so i'll look into that for her as well and just maybe extra lessons okay so we can do like academic lessons she'll do like revision of the last term and then start to go ahead and start learning for the next term i know that we do, i don't want to put too much pressure on my kids but seeing how jasmine loves to learn i don't want to um what's the word now take away from it and feel like oh don't put too much pressure don't do this they're just kids but if she's enjoying it and if she wants to learn why not why am i stopping her so i'm just going to encourage that for lily jane i think we'll do lessons and i i think we're going to find something as well that helps with more skills and all of that stuff i'm just gonna check if you're in portal court i know anything except that will help engage kids please let me know and yeah 
we'll do that so yes the kids are on holiday and which also means that they are going to be eating a lot so i'm going to be cooking right now when i get back from work i have to cook i made pasta and sardine sauce yesterday okay i made that yesterday so today i have to make um jollof fries and um stew yeah i was saying we have to make jo i have to make jollof fries and stew we have soup in the house um we have we don't have any stews i need to make a stew something that the kids can eat with anything plantain they can eat with potatoes yam whatever when i'm not around and i also do need to do um a bit of uh stocking up the house for snacks okay i just bought their pack of juice yesterday but i think i need to be eat buy more snacks because these kids are like they're always eating but it's not so bad right now because they are just recuperating they're still coughing i don't even know if you can hear coughing in the background they are still recuperating so their appetite is not back up yet um but um so when it's back up to normal definitely they're good this kid eats like five times a day mommy i want sausage mommy i want this mommy i want apple I mean, I want banana. Do you know that I spend maybe 20k a week? I'm not even exaggerating on fruits for this house. Like bananas go film the bananas has gone okay if I buy the big bunch of bananas, let's say the bunch of bananas is four thousand naira, it's gone. It doesn't last in my home because it's not even only the kids that eat tonight. It's as well. We eat food that they got in this house. Um and everything is now expensive so apples as well apples get really expensive i don't even know so yeah it's a lot it's a lot that we are dealing with at home i'm just chit chatting though i don't know i know this vlog this intro is a bit long i'm just chit chatting as you get ready with me so yeah i also need for my personal my personal um stuff i need to buy a makeup and skincare stuff um, i've run out of a lot of things but I deliberately um, waited to finish. So I just kind of, you know how we I feel like we're over consuming stuff, right? Because everybody's recommending things. You're seeing things online. You want to do what everybody else is doing. So I just decided that um, before I buy something again, let me make sure I like it. And let me just make sure I use up every other thing I have. So for instance, I've had this. Let me just make an example of what I'm trying to say. I've had this Huda concealer for some time. I used it and it was, eh, not sure I like it. I like it. It's not bad or whatever. Then I've bought several concealers since then. I've bought this. I've bought this. I have an NRX one. So when these ones were running out, I'm like, wait, I still have this. Uh oh, they just took lights. Let me see if I can increase the lighting so it doesn't affect it so much. Okay. Yeah, I was saying. So, um, I'm deciding to finish this. Okay, if that makes any sense. Finish up the products I have before I start buying more. Because there's no time to waste. Okay? So, even if I don't particularly enjoy the product, as long as I still have it and I didn't give it away, why don't I just use it up? Okay? So, personally... I need a lot more makeup and all of that because i've been using up all my makeup that i don't like this powder the same thing the, the shade of this powder is very ashy it's uh, almost like a gray undertone and my undertone is a mix between olive and um golden so it doesn't it's not the best for me but it works <laughs> and i'm using it if that makes any sense and also I have a new routine for work okay work makeup i've reduced the time by more than half okay because i don't need a full face every day but i would like to be more put together so let me just give you guys small gists um because of the different um things i started doing right um somebody spoke to me a senior colleague um, she's not really my colleague in my field but she's a senior person who watches me and has been seeing the trajectory and the potential of like you know what can happen how my life can change and all of that and she told me something she said man you need to put a lot more effort in your appearance she's like i know that you dress well you dress nice and all of that but she's like so see you never know where you would somebody will need to call you on the spot okay you never know where you need to show up or something or you need to stand in and feeling for someone so she's like even to wear even if you don't wear yes full face or foundation you should also just always try to look really good and put together 
Hello, children. How are you? Did you always... They're taking lives. They're taking lives? Yes. I know. You're Elsa. Hmm? You're Elsa. I'm Elsa? Yes. No, I'm not Elsa. I'm the snowman. The snowman. Mm -hmm. Jazzy is Elsa. You're Anna. I'm Anna. Yes. You're the snowman. Yes, I'm the backup. I'm the backup. So like I was saying, she just said, just try to, like, even oh, your, um, if you buy fabric from time to time. Yeah. Lily, I'm pushing my camera. Can you move back? Okay. Move back a little. She's, don't, don't stay, don't stay in my, my bed with cheese balls. She's like, um, um, oh, Lily Jane, you're staying in my bed with cheese balls. She's like, if you have money, buy fabric, make some few pieces that you just always have so that whenever they call upon you, you're not looking for, oh, what am I going to wear? What am I going to do? She's like, wherever you go, just always look to put together because now you're becoming a brand. Okay, you're, 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 building, your, you're building your brand. You're building. I'm stopping you. Yeah, you're stopping me. What does that mean? What about me? You want me to record you? Yeah, me. I should record you? Yeah. Well, your hands are dirty. There's cheese balls all over. I can bear that. <laughs> yeah, wait, I'll carry and shoot them. But you have to don't stain my dress, okay? I can bear that. see the cheese balls. <laughs> all right, go down. Yeah, that's basically it. And she's not wrong. Lily, don't touch anything. My big sheets are white. Okay, go and wash your hands if you want to come near me. So sorry, guys. I had to finish getting ready off camera because they were disturbing me. Like, my new sheets I just changed. Cheese balls all over. Lily Jane's new favorite snack is cheese balls. But what I was trying to say, the point I was trying to make, and she was trying to teach me, is that when you are in a professional capacity, when you are on the media or whatever it is you're doing, you, when you are the brand, okay, you have to always look a certain way. What is your brand goal? What are you trying to achieve? What business are you trying to call to yourself? How are you trying to get clients? Okay, what are you trying to do? How do you want to increase your revenue? And part of it is that if you are the face of the brand okay you always have to look good regardless of how you feel so today i don't have any foundation on i just used a bit of concealer to conceal part of my face i did a bit of contour blush powder mascara lip gloss and that's it okay but i still think that or i know that you know i still look good i don't have to do full face i don't have to do a lot of things i still look good so this is just a message that i'm passing back to you guys i was taught this and in fact i already know this but sometimes you just don't give in you know you just want to just mm, today i woke up on the wrong side today i don't really care i just want to live my life da, 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 da. see when you know where you're going you have to dress the part okay dress the part of your future what you see in the future what you want to see in the future and all of that good stuff and as for children and extracurricular activities for the summer holiday you don't have to break the bank guys you don't have to break the bank you don't have to put yourself under too much pressure i even know that there are worksheets you can find online that you can do so if you can't do all of these things and put them in so many activities or if you're a stay at home mom you can print out worksheets online you can buy textbooks okay ask their teachers for textbooks that they will use in the next term or go over their other homework or something you can take them on play dates you can take them to their parents house you can travel so many things that you can do to engage them okay you don't have to do all the plenty plenty activities don't put pressure on your kids and if you want them to while away for the summer you can just put them in like a spot or something so they chill in the daytime in the afternoon they go for their activity come back home and rest it's all up to you but for me because i am a working mom and i'm not going to always be there i mean at the office i'm somewhere in court or something i'm trying to do things that would engage them and help them and i see the potential in my kids i see who they are and who they are going to be okay and it's it's, it's like i owe it to them to do my very best to make sure that they are able to achieve even if it's half or more than half of what they who they are supposed to be when they are this age and when they grow up they can build up on the capacity they are already imbibed in them now if that makes any sense okay so i know that my ch my child i mean jasmine got best in numeracy so if she's so good at math why would i not encourage and emphasize and try to hone in on that skill now that she's too young and build upon it okay she got best in um, numeracy best in um, psd that's the emotional 
personal development and all of that and i know that she's good with writing and language so why don't i put more into that you know push her a little bit show her that she can do so much more that's my own thinking i don't know what you guys think anyway i'm heading to work now i'm running late actually i'm running late so let me go I might do a bit of market shopping and then come back and cook and then we'll end the vlog okay all right guys i know this was long i know it was long but sometimes you just want to talk you need to just educate you need to chit chat you need to share ideas you need to talk about what you're also going through okay all right i love you guys so much and i'll see you later bye <music>